important. You know, I th when I look at McGrady, I, I, it reminds me of why Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan, why Larry Bird was Larry Bird. It's not just talent. There's got to be a fire in the belly. There's got to be a competitive edge where you want to kill the guy across from you. And I've never played with Tracy. I've never had a conversation with him. But he's as talented as any player I've ever seen. But I don't think that ever, that fire ever manifested itself. You know, mm. I mean, it's interesting. You, in, in touching on what you said, Isaiah, the demeanor, the look, the appearance that he's not trying hard. Mm -hmm. But I don't think you lead the league in scoring if you, if you don't have a little bit of a fire. As he did twice. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, think, I think the problem was we just, it just was, I mean, I was hurt. I think it would have helped as an older player to sort of help show him a little bit, you know, how to do things. He was, he was 21 when he went to Orlando and just yeah. took off. Mm -hmm. So he was still young. And the team wasn't that great. And I think a lot of it was frustration. I think a lot of it was he just didn't know really what to do or how to conduct himself maybe as a teammate, as a leader. Uh, but in terms of, like you said, in terms of talent, and going out and scoring like he scored, like you have to have a little bit of a fire. If you're going oh, he out. had the fire in my estimation too, but I think it, it hits back to everything you just said, meaning the difference between a Larry Bird and, 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 a, and a Michael Jordan, and also is college. I think overall, you learn to lead in college. Right. You learn to be on your own a little bit in college. And then the other part, you learn the fundamentals, because to me, the, what made Michael better than the McGrady's, and even now Kobe, and, 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 um, and, and, and LeBron, is the fundamentals of the game he was still the best at. Mm -hmm. His correct hand was always in the passing lane. His footwork was impeccable. So it wasn't natural talent that got him over a lot of times. He, to me, was the most fundamentally gifted athlete ever. Fundamentals yeah. with athleticism. Yeah. And, I had never seen, even Clyde Drexler, who was yeah. a great athlete, yeah. mm -hmm. didn't have the fundamentals as yeah. Michael, but yeah. he had the athleticism yeah. and everything else. But that, those three years at North Carolina and those three, two or three years at Wilmington High School where he learned those fundamentals, I, uh, I think those were the difference yeah. with May Michael. And, I, and I, would, I would agree with you, not only in terms of the fundamentals, but also who he learned from. I mean, you played under Coach K. You played under Dean Smith. I played under Bobby Knight. Uh, Dean Smith teaching Michael Jordan. So that... That level of philosophy coming mm -hmm. down and, and understanding how to play fundamentally sound. What basketball. it takes to win. Yeah, I, I mean, and, and Bird had great coaching at Indiana State. I, I remember um, Carl Nix, uh, number 22, uh, played at Indiana State with Larry Bird, and he was from Chicago, and Carl was always. Mm -hmm. So I remember him coming back for the summer. We're playing in the summer league, and I remember asking him, I say, is, is he really that good? He goes, He's that good, but his fundamentals are so flawless. Like, he never makes a mistake in terms of his setup for the shot. He never makes a mistake in terms of his left-hand layup or his right-hand layup. And his fundamental setup is so good, he always has time. So when, when Bird would catch the basketball, it would look like he would be able to catch it, spin it around, and... <laughs> Uh, you and, know what? The, you know, the, and, because their setup was so good, and there's the same with Jordan. Right. And I think we mistake that for fire in the belly. Mm -hmm. You know, we we used to call that he has know how. Like Bird, Jordan, them guys had fundamental know how. McGrady coming from high school, he he didn't get the know how. You know, so everything had to be you know tricky. Whereas them guys, you know, even yourself playing under Lou Olson, right? If you don't play under Lute Olsen, I don't know if you ever get into the NBA yeah. because the fundamental base that you had, that know-how that they gave you, it wasn't because you were a great ball handler, you were a great athlete, you could outrun everybody. You knew how to get open, and that came from great teaching 